All right, let's get it then. Let's go, baby. Episode we're on eight now. Yeah. Let's go. Bro, we got some. I better not drop this. Let me know if this is W or L. I'm not even lying. It's spicy nuggets and curly fries. It's basic, but. Yeah, but it's a good moment. Okay, good. I don't remember this episode, so I don't know. Bussin. With the ranch. You can't forget the ranch. Curly fries is W. There we go. We got some culture people in here. Hey, he's bending. How is he in his headgear? Let's toughen you up. Toughen you up. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Woo down. That's grandma. Marco, how dare you into the prince? Whoa, this is insane. The grandma's insane. Treats him more than this, Marco. What? Mm. You dated the avatar? <laughs> Sit. You and I need to have a little gab session right now. <laughs> Who's jelly? Bullen and I grew up dirt poor. So this is not bad. A pro bender. This is not bad. Wanted it all. Riches, fame. Accolades. If I didn't wash this like all in like all a month, when I met Cora. this would have been good. Come here, Mako. Mako. Wow, Look at how Cora looked with her hair. On the radio. Come on, Bolin, we're up. Whoa, that was the first time you met. And a loyal friend. Did that pro bending moment was so cool from Cora. No. Exactly. I saw me pulled up. I'm so sorry, I didn't see. But the first time we met, I saw me. She was so hot, bro. I mean, I was Look at this scene right here. I know what they're gonna show. Like, uh, I was, I, I, wow. <clears throat> when you got charm like mine, you don't need introduction. Mako, when you got charm like that mine. Asami was awesome. Damn, bro. But it made things with Korra Season one, Asami. Complicated. Look, I really like you, and I think we were meant for each other. Oh, I remember that. This was so Korra, awkward. I just don't feel the same way about you. And the worst part about it is. It wasn't totally true. Mm. We need to talk. Save your breath. You've already made it clear how you feel about me. No, I haven't. What I'm trying to say is, as much she's as feeling a little crazy, silly. <laughs> I also think you're pretty amazing. Oh, this was insane. Whoa! I thought you were dating Asami. Two, get out of here. <laughs> Naughty Mako. The grandma's your too. After your grandfather. Guys, Grandma. Denial. Okay. I saw something yeah, saying that. Her? Grandma's uh, husband is Zuko. Not Zuko. Became clear when Dated Zuko. Oof, I bet Asami wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> How you acted when she was missing. <laughs> right, Marco was going crazy here. Her, don't you? Things are crazy right now. Can we deal with our relationship problems later? Well, there might not be any relationship to worry about later. Sheesh. Asami. I'm sorry things got so messed up between us. <laughs> but whatever happens today, I want you to know how much I care. Season one was sick, man. I care about you. Season one was so good. Wait, was that supposed to be you breaking up with her? Yes. Welcome, Wace. That was a breakup. Didn't sound like a breakup. Episode eight. It was mutual. We had an understanding. I was finally able to tell her how I felt. I love you, Cora. Cora got like, triggered here. She got triggered and ran away. Well, Aang pulling up was so cool in the season finale. And then you two lived happily ever after. Um, Tenzin's just trying to help you become the best avatar you can be. How could you take his side? What's with you and Zai? They did say this with signs a lot. Hell? Excuse me, officer. Don't let me stand in the way of you writing tickets. I'm just trying to save the world. Well, I guess if we're both putting our jobs first, maybe there's no room for our relationship. So this part was what? crazy. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah, I guess I am. Now that's a breakup. After that, so she and I worked together to catch the perps. The stakeout was the perfect way to get my mind off Cora. It was an intense night. Asami intense and night. What do you mean by that, Mako? We cleared out. My company. It's over. I give up. Well, Asami was cooked. I'm not giving up on you. I know. I know. Don't tell me. I had no right kissing Asami. <laughs> no, actually, I'm completely fine with that. You officially broke up with Korra, and therefore you can <laughs> to smooch whoever you wish. If only it had been that simple. not officially break up. He was so lucky, but unlucky at the same time. Mako or someone else? I think we're talking about Mako, right? Mako, I missed you so much. Mako, yeah. Korra. Asami's face. Hey, I, I missed you too. Dude, so Mako had both of the best yeah, women in the show. It's still insane to me. Remember? 
Not really. Yeah. I was Amelia with Asami after? It was insane. And I lost my memory for a little while. Maybe it hasn't all come back yet. Was it a bad fight? Welcome, Matt. Uh, so you were back with Asami, but then Cora came back and thought you guys were still together and you didn't tell her you weren't? Just like your grandfather. Truer words have never been. Prince, what was me here? High five! I'm too. Well, eventually, I too? tell Cora. I know I should have, but I didn't want to hurt you all over again. It's over. For real this time. After harmonic convergence, the world changed. And after that, everything and was normal. traveled around searching for new airbenders. At first, it was awkward being around Cora and Asami. As you were. As you were. Ladies. This guy's so, he was so dumb for the, he's so goofy. I had to figure out who I was without a lady in my life. That's you like my I'm IRL talking. voice right now. Cora showed me the importance of putting others before myself. And whenever I think of her, she continues to inspire me. Wow. That's why I love Cora. The story is amazing, and I really learned something. You did? Yeah, I learned that I really didn't know anything about you. Crazy. <laughs> also, I realized that ladies are complicated. No mm. offense, Grandma. Focus on being a better king. Focus on being a okay. better king. Yeah. Come at me. I can take it. Ah, woo down. There's no way. <laughs> Marco's Grandma. Are you okay? You seem out of sorts. Sorry. I've just been thinking about something Toph said. The world doesn't need me, and it's basically Ultimate Glazer. to try to stop Kovira. For the royal family. Ridiculous. The first time I saw Amon take someone's bending away, I was terrified. Bro, that shit was... I'm gonna tell you right now, that shit was terrifying. Is gone. Terrifying. <laughs> and this was even crazier. Uh, no! I don't think I've ever felt the more hype moment than when she got the airbending. Oh my god. Because this was insane. And non-benders finally had a voice. People had hope again, and it was all because of you. Because of the goat. Was... As soon as I defeated Amon, a new enemy took his place. Oh, my Jinora. Into chaos. Own uncle, bruh. Own uncle, bruh. My fault he fused with Vatu and became a dark avatar. His demon spirit pulled up. This is hard to watch. Very hard. My connection to my past lives. Sheesh. With Rava gone, Unalak and Unk was feeling insanely devious. Ever. Bad looks. Insanely bad looks. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Well, this shit was so cool. No, this is crazy. Earth Queen would still be alive. Ah, uh, Earth Queen. There would have been no crisis in the Earth Kingdom, and Kuvira wouldn't be in power. True. You're right, Cole. Whoa. Tenzin yeah. pulled up. But yes, the sir. important thing is to learn from your enemies. Mm -hmm. You've changed so much since you first... Oh, this is a good scene. Camp. When you first came here, you were hot-headed and a bit selfish. But you've matured <laughs> you just, like, stood there. a thoughtful young woman who puts the needs of others before herself. The new air nation... There you go, Tenzin Glaze. Just like me, for real. You sacrificed everything to save them. You're an inspiration to the world. Facts. Love this scene. Thank Tenzin you. is how I feel about Korra personified. I know. I'll always try to restore balance. Tenzin being a W as per usual. Yes, sir. I only glazed one person. Matt, we know. That's when Seven I showed him yet. Vow never to eat bark onion soup again. Four months and fourteen. This dude years. looks like a a boof version of Mako. Still tasted. Like Did a else thirty year old. Wonder that is. now best part. Oh, let's see. Is this the best part equalizer? Ever told. He does look like one. Yeah, that's a good one. As Nuktuk, hero of the South. Trademark Vera Movers International. Trademark. In the incredible true story of Bolin, hero of the world. Nuktuk, the true story of Bolin. What? Nuktuk or is Nuktuk playing me? What? Both. It's your true story, but we'll capitalize on the audience of the nut. What is not, what is Varric right saying right now? Yeah, da, 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 da. You're emphasizing the wrong story beats. Let me tell you. <laughs> the story of Bolin Let Varric explain. In a pillow in the living room of a luxury yacht. <laughs> How do they all fit on one pillow? Oh, giant pillow. This is Varric's POV. In walks Nuktuk with a twinkle in his walks eye. A gorgeous dame on his arm. My teacher. Oh, come on. I, I was about to say king of yap. Man, I was about to say king of yap. She came to the bending arena mm. one fateful night. This place this is, is good. more amazing than I imagined. Name's Bolin, by the way. Huh. Cora. When does the singing start? There wasn't any Boring. singing. Boring. Come on, kid. Leave the storytelling to the masters. To the masters. So, 
the world's most evil villains. It's like he's giving like a like a summary version of everything that happened. They're led by Zahir, leader of the Rebels and Map, the ultimate force of pure spirit. Evil this did not happen, buddy. The biggest, meanest, scariest kite that ever flew. Kite? Wait, Zahir didn't team up with Vatu. How would that even happen? What? Hello. Hey, it's Zahir. Oh. Hey. Bro, what is going on? I'm glad I caught you at home. <laughs> oh, very funny. Like I can leave this stupid tree. Hold on. Let me come this is so time. meta, it's so funny. The reanimated zombie body of reanimated. the leader of the equalists is not included. Not this part is so goofy, I swear. The evil Unalak, who's listening in on the other line. I've spent my life trying to defeat Nuck This is totally those AI videos. And I know just where to find him. With well, all the way Vatu's holding the little thing right now is insane. Bolin had a reputation as the world's greatest. Rizzler. Bolin's the Rizzler. Ooh, now the story is getting interesting. Stable water tribe princess at emotionally the unstable. He met a fetching airbender, the heir to a vast earth kingdom fortune. Mm. Oh, probably never talk to me again because I was so stupid, stupid, <laughs> so, so, so. Bolin sold. Bolin sought advice from the man who started it all. Varric. The wisest of the wise, me, for some of my signature sage advice. Nuktuk, Sage you know, advice. Win. There's only one thing for you to do if you want to save the Avatar and defeat the fearsome foursome. I'm not really sure if I like fearsome. The I, fearsome foursome might be better. Whatever. You have to assemble the fightingest. What is bro yapping about? Of all time. But it turns out the Airbender recruits are a sorry lot, so Bolin brings them to sorry a lot. top training facility. Where, meanwhile, back with Zombie Amon. It's fine, Matt. Hey guys, I think we finally ditched it. Zombie Amon. Oh, very funny. I'm still on the line. Anyone there? Guys. <laughs> And with danger closing in, and forgive him for whatever stuff he was talking about earlier, which will probably not be in the final cut of the movie. Team of frauds. Magically passing mm. on the airbender power of flight. So Bolin's oh, flying now. That part seems a little unbelievable. This is no time for thinking, kid. We're heading into the big finale. Bolin gathers his airbender army to Milo. Maybe that's the name of the bad guys. Terror Square. What about Legion Terror of Terror Square? Well, we'll put a focus group on it. Bolin focus teaches group. the airbenders to create a giant. Dude, tornado. this is this is so. Un flies around in the sky, pushes Zahir into it, turning him <laughs> what is into going on? wind forever. But Bolin doesn't realize that the universal interplanetary combination zero hour combination zero hour turning him into a giant. But when Batu is Varric. free, the evil Unalak, who has this. always been an annoyingly clingy person, is so close to Batu that they come so goofy. into one. Ritual <laughs> Mojo is so strong that he attracts the queen of the queen of fairies. Dust and sprays. There would be a wall pad right here. Probably would be. What the oh, yeah. shkabidi? Turns into a dragon. He goes into the spirit world and he saves the apple. Chat, is this brain rot? Chat, is very brain rot. And he's talking to like brain rot people, bro. Wait, you like that? It didn't make any sense. <laughs> and 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 stars are magic. It's so brain dust? rot. Are you guys crazy? Are you crazy? It's just a mover. Don't overthink it. Don't Never overthink ride. it. Never let the truth get in the way of a good this story. This is brain kid. rot, Chris. Hey, what did I just watch, bro? What did I just watch, dude? 